It was a bright Tuesday morning of April, and Mai was getting ready for school. She decided to go by foot that day and finally enjoyed the warmth of the sun. Summer was getting close, and she was looking forward to it, already planning activities with her friends and family. While lost in her thoughts, Mai caught sight of another girl playing ahead on the street wearing the same school uniform as her. Once she got closer, Mai managed to recognize the girl. It was Haruka, a quite a strange girl who was often the target of bullying. Sometimes her classmates would just ignore Haruka, at other times they would play cruel pranks on her. The teachers knew very well about the bullying, but pretended not to see it. Mai had no particular feelings towards Haruka, but she didn't dare be the old one, so she bullied her along with the rest of the class, calling her cruel names. Mai got closer and noticed the girl was jumping up and down on top of a manhole cover and looked extremely happy. Her lips were moving, but it was difficult to hear what she was saying. After some hesitation, Mai took a couple of steps, getting even closer, and a chanting filled her ears. Mai was puzzled. Why was this girl jumping like that? What was the number supposed to mean? Is it a new game? Was she insane? Realizing that school was starting in a few minutes, Mai snapped out of her thoughts and hurried off, leaving the weird girl behind, but couldn't help looking back at her a couple of times. Once in class, an empty desk in the back caught Mai's attention. Haruka hadn't shown up for school. It wasn't that strange, as the girl was absent quite often, but after the encounter that morning, Mai couldn't help wondering what Haruka was up to. When the school bell rang, all kids streamed out onto the street. On her way home, Mai stopped then on her path, shocked to see Haruka still jumping on the exact same spot she had been that morning. Has she skipped the entire school day for this? Why? The lack of answer were driving Mai insane. She had to find out the reason, no matter what. She walked up to the girl and stopped right in front of her. Haruka kept jumping as if Mai wasn't there, but this time with a new chanting. Mai gathered her courage and finally decided to talk to her. What are you doing? Nine, 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 nine. Hey, I asked you, what are you doing? Nine, 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 nine. <laughs> the girl just went on jumping happily, as if she hadn't even heard my questions. Who do you think you are? Answer me when I talk to you. You better tell me what are you doing, or you'll be very sorry. Haruka was laughing at her? Until that moment, Mai never despised Haruka like the others did, but the sight of this girl enjoying herself so much and ignoring her completely made Mai lose her temper. She suddenly pushed Haruka to the ground. The girl stopped her chanting and looked at Mai standing on top of the manhole, bending her knees, ready to take a big jump. My turn. Let's see what's so special about this. <coughs> While Mai was up in the air, Haruka quickly reached out and removed the manhole cover, letting Mai fall straight in. 
The strange girl got to her feet and replaced the manhole cover. Then, with a big smile of satisfaction on her face, she started jumping up and down once again. But this time, her chanting is a different one. Ten, 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 ten,